Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh, and today we are going to discussing about our next topic is like a difference between low cost and J meter. Uh, before going to this video, please go through that my previous video like what is uh, low cost and what are the things it is presented. That's introduction I provided into that video. After that, come to this low cost to variation comparison for low cost and J meter and it is basically J meter ex extensions like exist in this industry are more than at 20 years because most of the companies they are using for J meter to test for performance and load testing for that now the low cost is coming to the existence is a five years above not exactly five because it is more than that five years it is presented the language based is basically a language based is a J meter it is Java based and low cost J meter and low cost low cost is basically a Python based tool okay operating systems and both the things are provided for windows linux mac everything supporting operating systems both are uh, both are open source tools and if you require license under asf and licensed under mit for low cost and uh, there is another way it's like a gui record and playback options and JMeter having the GUI and record and playback support and also it will support for third party tools to for recording and playback options for JMeter whenever you want to do for some load testing we can able to BlazeMeter is there right there we can able to use for recordings and playback sessions for GUI and all it will support for JMeter and low cost there is no a record and playback option for low cost and it will support for, for tools uh, protocols it is like JMeter will support for HTTP, FTP, JDBC, uh, SOAP, uh, LDAP and JMS, SMTP and POP3 and IMF and etc. it will support more on JMeter protocols for low cost only it will support for HTTP and FTP and efficiently we can able to inject for number of concurrent users means a J meter it will support only for low effi efficient thousand with restriction of the users it will support J meter but a low cost is very efficiently we can it will support for thousands without any restriction for the concurrent users means uh, you started for low testing for application then you need in between that you have to increase the number of users and decrease the number of users for this we can able to use jmeter set thread group to increasing the number of a member to ramp up like execute parallelly that moment what will happen we need to use for thread group and we those things right but here without any uh, like any restriction we can able to increase the number of users for that low cost and ramp up mechanism specify load testing patterns are possible various thread groups we can able to use a ramp up we can able to use and a low cost there is no linear load like linear load means we we can set up code and data then we can run by default it will open a local server like local host and 8089 it will open and it will hit for your server without any issue load testing monitoring and analysis like jmeter a lot of inbuilt and plugins like listeners like console a file a graph desktop client and customized plugins are presented to monitor and analysis for low testing for low cost only is the basic like console and web it is presented we can able to 
monitor and analysis things we can able to do it for using those things distributed load testing yes both it is provided for distributed load testing both are supporting and also a version control a version control a j meter will not provide and low cost it will provide for version control because we are using for python coding into a low cost and we can able to anytime we can able to increase n number of things into one time okay this is all about for difference between a j meter and low cost i hope you understand this one please like my video and please subscribe my youtube channel don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you